grade 9 learners, how are you today? Do you still remember me? Right. I am your English 9 on-air teacher. I am Sir Sam. Welcome back to Radio Z Escuela. Last time, we discussed about conditional sentences. Let's have a quick review about them. Conditional sentence is made up of conditional clause and a main clause. A conditional clause usually begins with the words if or when, and a main clause is where the result is stated. Let's take these for example. If I won a lottery, I would buy a mansion. In the given sentence, the conditional clause is if I won a lottery while the main clause is I would buy a mansion. What are the basic kinds of conditionals? We have zero conditional, first conditional, second conditional, and lastly third conditional. Zero conditional is used to express a condition that always has the same result, that is generally true or factual or one thing that causes another, while first conditional is used to express real or probable or possible result in the future. The second conditional is used to express imaginary situations in the present or future. And lastly, third conditional is used to express imaginary situations that did not happen. Right, make sure to review and practice them by going over with your notes and answering some exercises. This will help you better remember them. Now, for today, we will be discussing a new topic, and that is communicative styles. At the end of the class on air, you students are expected to determine vocabulary or jargons expected in a communicative style. What are you waiting for? Get your English modules and notebook now. Jot note as you listen. Stay tuned and learn! Let us discover different communicative styles by identifying which these lines belong. Just try and do not worry about mistakes. Now listen, this is exactly what you will be doing. I will be reading lines in a very short description of who is delivering the said lines and who the speaker is talking to. Identify what communicative style those lines belong. You will be given enough think time to answer. Choose from the given choices and write your answer on a separate sheet. We will check your answers immediately after reading each item. Are you ready? Now, let us begin. Number 1. Physician to patient. Do you feel better now with the dosage I gave you? A. Formal B. Casual or C. Consultative The correct answer is C. Consultative Number 2 Police officer to suspect upon arrest you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in the court. A. Formal B. Frozen C. Consultative The correct answer is B. Frozen Number 3. Student to teacher Anything you would like to ask in our discussion today? A. Formal B. Frozen C. Consultative The correct answer is A. Formal Number 4. 
school principal to school's division superintendent on commencement exercises. I would like to present to you 200 candidates for high school diploma. A. Formal B. Frozen or C. Consultative The correct answer is B. Frozen Number 5 Athletes to public in their oath of sportsmanship. I commit myself to the true spirit of sportsmanship for the glory of sports and the honor of our teams. A. Formal B. Frozen or C. Consultative The correct answer is B. Frozen Number 6. Employer to applicant during a job interview why do you think we should hire you? A. Formal B. Frozen C. Consultative The correct answer is A. Formal Number 7 Presider to participants on a meeting The meeting is now called to order A. Formal B. Frozen C. Consultative the correct answer is B. Frozen Number 8 Girl to her friends Hey, I got your text messages. See you later, girls. A. Casual B. Frozen or C. Consultative The correct answer is A. Casual Number 9 Mother to his son who won a sports tournament. You did great. I'm very proud of you, son. A. Intimate B. Frozen or C. Consultative The correct answer is A. Intimate And last item, number 10. Boy to his cousins. I saw Troy driving through downtown. He's trying to flex their new car. A. Casual B. Frozen or C. Consultative The correct answer is A. Casual Alright, I hope you have now an idea of the different communicative styles. You will learn more about them as we go on with our lesson. Have fun learning today! Listen to the dialogue between a son and a father. Notice how their conversation differs from other communication. Listen carefully. This is the situation. The son arrives home from school bringing a medal from a contest he wins at school. Hello, Dad. I'm home. Please, come fast. Yes, I'm coming. Where are you hurrying? Uh, uh, I'm hurrying because I want to show you something. The son gets the medal from his pocket and hands it to his father. Oh, this is great, my love! Yes, Dad, I won first place in the online reading contest in school. I can't believe it! My teacher sends me this medal. Yeah, I told you, you should trust yourself. I have the confidence in you, son. Thank you, Father. You make me proud today. Come on, dear. Even without knowing it yet, I had already prepared a delicious snacks for you. What do you notice on the conversation of the father and his son? To what communicative style the jargons or vocabularies used in the conversation you heard belong? Let us find out when we are back after this break. 
the Radio Z Escuela Program of the Division of Davao de Oro is being brought to you by Nueda Builders Construction and Supply Incorporated, Maverick Builders Incorporated, Mitch Construction and Supply, Arquicons Architectural Construction and Supply, DB Construction and Supply, Hanaway Builders Corporation, Phoenix Corvada Tagum Gasoline Station, Master Construction and Supplies, Mackenzie Builders, GP&H Construction Incorporated, Metro Gear Construction Corporation, NEN Builders and Development Services Corporation, Max Maze Enterprises Incorporated, We Inc. Construction Company, Rangai Construction and Supply, East Sussex Enterprise, WM Construction, Councillor Boogie and Miss Marjorie Vertodazo, Icon Builders and Supply, and Apex Mining Company Incorporated. Hi, I'm back. Now, let us find out what communicative style was used in the dialogue that we have just heard a while ago. Also, we will get to know more about the different communicative styles and the vocabularies we should use with it. You should know that people normally communicate in different situations, and this occurs in many contexts. Communication involves the giving and receiving of information between the sender and the receiver. Now, what are the different communicative styles? The different communicative styles are the following. Intimate, formal, casual, frozen, and consultative. Again, the different communicative styles are Intimate, formal, casual, frozen, and consultative. We will get to know more each of them, starting with intimate communication. Intimate communication is used within family or close friends. Incomplete statements may be used, but it does not affect the understanding because facial expressions gestures, and other cues used in the context may complete the meaning. Some expressions may be used such as uh -huh, instead of yes. Slang words or words that are used in informal languages or even jokes may be used. Terms of endearment such as dear, love, sweetie pie may be used some heavily to refer each other. That is why it is called intimate communication. Going back to the dialogue that we have just heard earlier, it actually used intimate communication because it is very evident that they use terms of endearment. Next, formal communication. In a formal communication, it is offered in the official capacity of the professionals involved. In other words, it is communication that stems from the authority, accountability, and responsibility of a job. Jargon or technical words used conform to establish professional rules and standards. Here, Slang terminologies are avoided. Next, casual communication. In a casual communication, it is an unofficial form of communication wherein the information is exchanged spontaneously between two or more persons without conforming to the prescribed official rules processes, system, formalities, and chain of command. In a casual communication, 
informal languages are used just like between friends and peers, where slang languages can also be used. Some jargons used in greetings are Hi Hey What's up? How's it going? Excuse me Next Frozen communication Frozen communication usually used in formal settings. It is the most formal style of communication wherein the audience is not allowed to raise questions to the speaker. It is a style of communication that almost never changes. It has a fixed and static language and uses long sentences with good command of grammar. In frozen communication, words used never change or vary. It is used in context where there is a need to specifically constructed languages. Some of the contexts are reading of Miranda rights upon arrest of a suspect, reciting common prayers, reciting preamble, reciting oath, and marriage ceremony. Lastly, consultative communication. Consultative communication is used in some group discussion, regular conversation at school, companies, trade, speech conversation, etc. It is the most operational among the other styles. In consultative communication, it welcomes some casualness as this style is not completely stiff but it must maintain professionalism. Here are some of the contexts where it is used. Physician to patient conversation, lawyer to client conversation, and salesman to customer conversation. Alright, that's it. Again, the different communicative styles are intimate, formal, casual, frozen, and consultative. In intimate communication, it is used to family and close friends. Use of endearment is evident such as love, honey, and dear. In formal communication, it is used in a formal setting such as discussion in seminars, and job interviews, while casual communication uses slang words or informal language. Typically, it is used to acquaintances and friends. Frozen communication is static or almost never changing language, like preamble or common prayers. And lastly, Consultative communication is operational. It is used to give usually professional advices or suggestions. How well did you learn? Let us check it by having a short quiz. Now, listen to my instruction. In this exercise, you will identify the communicative style used exemplified by the given description and examples. I will be reading the items twice and you have to select your answer from the given choices. Use separate sheet to write your answers. Again, I will be reading the items twice and you have to select your answer from the given choices. Use separate sheet to write your answers. Are you ready? Let us begin. Number one. What communicative style is used in the line? Good morning, sweetie. Did you sleep well last night? A. Formal. B. Casual. C. Intimate. What communicative style is used in the line? Good morning, sweetie. Did you sleep well last night? A. Formal B. Casual C. Intimate Number 2 
which communicative style does not allow the use of slang jargons? A. Casual B. Formal C. Intimate Which communicative style does not allow the use of slang jargons? A. Casual B. Formal C. Intimate Number 3 what communicative jargons are heard in the court as preliminaries to trial? A. Formal B. Frozen C. Intimate What communicative jargons are heard in the court as preliminaries to trial? A. Formal B. Frozen C. Intimate Number 4 What communicative jargons are employed when a teen greets his friends with hey guys what's up a casual b formal c intimate what communicative jargons are employed when a teen greets his friends with hey guys what's up a casual b formal c intimate number five what communicative style uses fixed language? A. Formal B. Frozen C. Intimate What communicative style uses fixed language? A. Formal B. Frozen C. Intimate Number 6 Which of the following communicative styles does not allow the use of slang jargons a casual b formal c intimate which of the following communicative styles does not allow the use of slang jargons a casual b formal c intimate number seven what communicative style is employed when a husband and wife talks about their plans for the family a casual b formal c intimate what communicative style is employed when a husband and wife talks about their plans for the family a casual b formal c intimate number eight what communicative style uses words of endearment as part of its jargons a casual b intimate c formal what communicative style uses words of endearment as part of its jargons a casual b intimate c formal number nine what communicative style is used in the line? The meeting is now adjourned. A. Consultative B. Formal C. Intimate What communicative style is used in the line? The meeting is now adjourned. A. Consultative B. Formal C. Intimate Number 10 what communicative jargon is used in the line oh my gosh it's my bet a casual b formal c intimate what communicative jargon is used in the line oh my gosh it's my bet a casual b formal c intimate good luck we will check your answers when we come back. The Radio Z Spella program of the Division of Davao de Oro is being brought to you by Nueda Builders Construction and Supply Incorporated, Maverick Builders Incorporated, Mitch Construction and Supply, Arkikons Architectural Construction and Supply, DB Construction and Supply, Hanaway Builders Corporation. Phoenix Corvada Tagum Gasoline Station, Master Construction and Supplies, Mackenzie Builders, GP&H Construction Incorporated, 
Metro Gear Construction Corporation, NEN Builders and Development Services Corporation, Max Maze Enterprises Incorporated, We In Construction Company, Rangai Construction and Supply, East Sussex Enterprise, WM Construction, Councillor Boogie and Miss Marjorie Vertodazo, Icon Builders and Supply, and Apex Mining Company Incorporated. And now we're back. Were you able to answer them correctly? Let us find out. Here are the correct answers. Number one. What communicative style is used in the line, Good morning, sweetie. Did you sleep well last night? A. Formal B. Casual C. Intimate The correct answer is C. Intimate Number two. Which communicative style does not allow the use of slang jargons? A. Casual B. Formal C. Intimate The correct answer is B. Formal Number 3 What communicative jargons are heard in the court as preliminaries to trial? A. Formal B. Frozen C. Intimate The correct answer is B. Frozen Number 4 What communicative style is employed when a teen greets his friends with Hey guys, what's up? A. Casual B. Formal C. Intimate The correct answer is A. Casual Number 5 What communicative style uses fixed language? A. Formal B. Frozen C. Intimate The correct answer is B. Frozen Number 6 Which of the following communicative styles does not allow the use of slang jargons? A. Casual B. Formal C. Intimate The correct answer is B. Formal Number 7. What communicative style is employed when a husband and wife talks about their plans for the family? A. Casual B. Formal C. Intimate The correct answer is C. Intimate Number 8. What communicative style uses words of endearment as part of its jargons? A. Casual B. Intimate C. Formal The correct answer is C. Formal Number 9 What communicative style is used in the line The meeting is now adjourned? A. Consultative B. Formal C. Intimate The correct answer is B. Formal Number 10 What communicative jargon is used in the line Oh my gosh, it's my bet A. Casual B. Formal C. Intimate the correct answer is A. Casual Congratulations! I know you did well! And remember, the different communicative styles are Intimate Formal Casual Frozen And Consultative Do not forget 
that each communicative style has its own jargons or vocabularies to use. I hope you learned something. This is Sir Sam Fabiano, your English 9 on-air teacher. Goodbye. See you next time. Rajas Escuela Executive Committee The School's Division Superintendent, Yofemia T. Gamutin Cecil 5 Assistant School's Division Superintendent, Dr. Romel R. Handayan OIC Curriculum Implementation Division Chief, Karina S. Frasco School Governance and Operations Division Chief, Dr. Roben J. Riponte Members, Cecilia Morales, Dr. Hilda A. Opeña Dr. Arlene B. Lee, Dr. Eldicris B. Calzadora, Dr. Dexter A. Sikinia, Nohara O. Pinute, Noemi P. Canales, Dr. Grace D. Pontilias, Virgilito C. Pabrises, Juanito Lapiceros, Engineer Norberto S. Manlangi, Jomar M. Dumupoy, Bob Dalan S. Milabat, Medar T. Ampit, and Paz Eugenia Villusino. Technical Working Committee Productions and Communications Lori Lee E. Quijano Given G. Hinampas Judy Land D. U Donna D. D. Bolfer Mary Rose N. Resma Riven Manuel Irene Lea C. Manguhon and Bessie Aya N. Banyans Social Media and Packaging Team Christian and Hara L. Martesho William R. Ranara, John T. Escoton, Roberto S. Acusar Jr., May B. Espanol, Richard H. Arellano, Lee L. S. Blanco, Ralph A. Tabanyag, Angelo Gutierrez Jr., and Jade Karen Araiz.